Hi guys, uh, so today I'm going to build my 250 heli, so just try to do the right thing. So what are we going to do? We're going to take, first we do the servo and uh, motor. So take your these things out and uh, this your canopy. So put the canopy back and let's start it. So that's your frame and we're going to do it so servo I'm going to use uh, 9 9 gram you can see is a Corona digital servo uh, Corona DS 929HV so I like a metal gear servo anyway so so we're going to use the servos guys take this one out one. All right, so let's guys, uh, we're going to put the this uh, <coughs> sorrow in. So, always, guys, remember this is my left hand, so the front piece go this way what is the first thing we're going to do before we put the servo take your head roll head and watch very closely this is supposed to be back back means uh, here that's your servo for your elevator I mean pushing forward so what do you do you just drop your head into the frame and hold like that and after you did it after that you do and then you can turn this this part you can see in my finger here I'll just make it very closer so you guys know exactly what I'm doing see this part here it should be on the back on this servos part and then you leave it after you put it then your this is the, your horns the linkage that's called here this one and this one but honestly don't get panic if if this one when you put the servo and you think you put the servo wrong way it's not big deal you just take the linkage out and you can swap your linkage so go this way then we <coughs> take your servo that's I'm using you know the Corona DS 929 HV come on fox it oh it's not getting it but should do get the back yard yep you got it guys so this one I'm using it so so let's do start it let you know you always this one is just uh, for the vibration so it's come with the servo so you can do these things like that you take your servo and put inside watch it this way and press it oh, come on yep yeah. and then you have a look this goes lock take the another part and do this one also put in inside it should hold it after that then you take this body and drop inside like that then it will see now it will not come out right so Put this little little tiny things there. After that you can hold this way up 
and I believe on my this is my right hand I'm sorry this is my left hand oh my wife is calling sorry guys about the phone call so where I was um, yep you, you put your things like that and then see so now I'm going to slide look how you can do it watch this put a little bit closer for you so how you do these things put the wire your inside through go fully back side and then you just slide on the push your wire backwards and then you can just slowly oops sorry slide it and we need and then take your wire from back and have a look this is your servo it's done that's your link you can put up like that and after that what do you do you just you know take a screwdriver <clears throat> oops oh sorry man I'm super idiot did the wrong way a little bit uh, this white thing supposed to be on the top oh come on Jamil yep turn around put on the top have a look Now you can drop it same way, sir. So make sure see that the wire comes out here and then you can we can lock this up I just believe do not tie too much because the camera carbon frame and just tight enough for I bought some screws so I'll just put the descriptions what size they are and you'll be fine to go and then you just drop the screw again on there come on get in the hole not getting it yeah sometimes you have this kind of problem but Oops, I got it. So, yeah. Oops, I tied too much. Yeah, just tight enough to, I mean, hold the servo is not a big deal. So, have a look. That's nice and tight and secure. Now, we're going to drop the another servo. So we're going to do the same, this one. Put this one first. Oops. 
then next one up then you drop your So same way guys, you just go turn around, get the bottom, put over your wire inside, oops, why giving me hat? time see the wires comes other side so you just slowly slowly pull it and when you just see or you just push a little bit tight and now here we go it's really nice click so it's very nice and secure after you do this then again you need your the screws where is it my And you can drop this one. Have a look. This one, the server direction, don't put like that because it's very close to the source plate. So make sure you put this way and tighten this one too. All right. Here we go. So, so you put all this servo like that. So you can see that's your aileron. I mean elevator. This is your will be uh, aileron. I'm not sure, and there will be the rotor. So that's the first part, guys. Uh, Hi guys, I want to just give you a little bit more tips. See the my servo when I was doing the screw tight and what happened. Uh, it just missed out because I was hole was big, so it's really easy to fix. What you do, I'll show you what I did it. See here, I'll just make a closer so you can see. 
see this is my servo can you see this and there's the servo screws and watch on the side what I did it do you know what I you do you just because when you buy the servo they give you the lot of horns uh, so what do you do you see cut it and make the just a little bit smaller with your screw size just check it before cut it put your finger here <laughs> put the the cutting part on and tighten the screw so and how many you miss you just can do like that and it's really easy guys and don't worry about anything so hopefully these things will help you more and thank you for the watching